This video is brought to you by Wondershare from Marathon. Hello everybody, my name is Pix and in today's video we're going to be exploring the new latest features of Wondershare Filmoraton. Now if you click the first link down in the description, you can try Filmora for free or you can always buy it to get all the cool new features. Now the Mac version has the exclusive built-in stock media feature which allows users to download files directly from Pixabay, Giphy and Unsplash and with that feature it's quite easy to make cool YouTube shorts. And without out of the way, let's get back to the video. Now when you start up Filmora, you will get a tutorial, so the tutorial will show you how to import media, it will also show you how to drag an effect, and then finally it will show you how to export the media. So that will give you an idea of how Filmora works. And once you're done with the tutorial, you can always log in with your Filmora account at the top right hand side. And without out of the way, the first feature I'm gonna cover is AI Portrait. Now what this feature does is removes background from a figure, so I'm gonna quickly show you how that works. So here I got some media, I'm just gonna import that into Filmora, just like so, and then I'm gonna drag it on the timeline. There's clicks, here's Booga, and here's our boy Dignal. So if you head on over to effects, you should see the new feature, which is called AI Portrait. So if you click on this, here are all the effects. So the main one is the human segmentation. If you drag it on an image or a video, it will cut out the background and only leave the figure inside of it. So you can actually stack effects on each other. So let's say we drag this and then we drag this. Here we have a glitch and the human segmentation applied onto each other. And it also works on video. So here's a video of Dignal talking. And let's drag our human segmentation onto here. And as you can see, it cuts the background and as you can see, it's moving a bit and it's still actually cuts the background so you can also apply human glitch and i think that looks cool as Theo, well i'm so gonna be bringing you guys he's like glitching around and i think that's awesome so i think this feature is also good for thumbnails and talking about thumbnails i'm gonna quickly make one so let's drag our human segmentation on the figure we can double click on it to move it so i'm gonna move it to the side now i'm gonna apply a background so here I drag the Fortnite background, I'm gonna drag that below Booga, just like that. And then I'm gonna drag the World Cup Finals PNG image. Now I do not need to cut this out because it's a PNG. So I'm gonna drag it below Booga, so in the middle. I'm gonna adjust it just like so. And then add some drop shadow. So I'm gonna click on the image that I want to add drop shadow. Check drop shadow and then configure my settings. Boom, here is my settings. I'm gonna click OK. And then I can also add drop shadow to the figure. So here I'm going to double click on the image and then I'm going to check drop shadow and then do the same thing. Click OK. And now I'm going to add some vignette on the background. So I'm going to go to effects and search for vignette. And then I'm going to apply the vignette radius onto the background. Then I can double click on that. Scroll down where you see video effects. You can extend it. And here we have the vignette settings. So we can drag it down, drag the radius to the right. And boom, just like that, I made a thumbnail in just a few minutes. And let's say you want to save it. You're going to locate this camera icon and then click on it. And this will save a snapshot. And if you want to find that snapshot, well, that's also easy. You want to go to your files and then you want to go to your documents. Then click on Wondershare. Go to Wondershare Filmora and then go to snapshot. And here is our snapshot. Now the next feature we have is AR stickers, so you want to go to effects and here are AR stickers over here. So if you're wondering what this does, let's say we're gonna drag sensor bar on a video. What this will do is track the person's eyes, so as you can Yo, see it did a really good job. It tracks his eyes really well and let's say you want to apply a different sticker, so you want to double click on the video that has the sticker. Then you want to go to video effects. Extend this and where you see sensor bar, which is the one I applied, you want to click on this X and that will remove it. You can also apply, let's say, DJ. Let's apply it to here. As you can see, it tracks them really well. So this also works on images. Let's say we're applying sensor bar on an image. As you can see, it will block his eyes automatically. Now, the next feature I'm going to show you is auto reframe. So what this does is motion tracks a figure in the video automatically and I'm going to show you how that works. So let's say you drag some media over here. You can right click on the video and then click on auto reframe and here it will bring the video up. So you can select in what aspect ratio you want it to be tracked. So 9 by 16 is a phone resolution. So let's say you want to upload a TikTok, you can use 9 by 16, but there's also different ones to choose from. So I'm going to go with 9 by 16 
and this video i want to track this skier so it's gonna do a backflip as you can see over here and what this will do is motion track it so let's click on analyze and now it's gonna convert the video and here is how it looks now let's say you're not satisfied with what it tracks so you can always keyframe it so what you want to do is go to the point that you don't want it to track so i don't want it to track these people i can just move it over here and what this will do is add a keyframe over here so we can keep on adjusting it just like so and then we can do the ai do this thing again so then what you can do is click on export but let's say you want to see how it looks still without this moving you can click adjust frame so untick this and this will show you how it looks in that aspect ratio but yeah this is how I use auto reframe so the final feature i'm gonna cover is audio effects so head on over to effects and then click on audio effects so here are all the audio effects you can pick from we got echo lobby big room small room phone and that is it so if you want to preview how it sounds, you can double click on Hit it. Hit play on your imagination. And here is and here is a preview of how it will sound. Now let's say you want to use it on a clip. What you can do is download the sound and then drag it to the clip. So this is the clip I'm going to use. I'm going to drag it on the clip and this is how it sounds. In this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys another free pack. Now this is how it sounds without it. The video i'm gonna be bringing you guys and as you can see it worked so let's say you wanted to cover a certain point of the video you don't want the whole video to have an effect you want to find the point in the video where you want the audio effect to start so i'm gonna go here and then you want to split it so you can click this or click ctrl b just like that and then you want to pick a point where it will end so i'll make it end over here and i'm gonna split it again and then on this part that we split we can apply an audio effect so let's apply lobby and let's see how that sounds another free pack uh, this time around i have collaborated and as you can see only this part of the video had an effect and yeah that is pretty cool and these are all the features i decided to cover on wondershare filmora 10 and overall this editing software is really good if you're getting into content editing or you just want to split your clips or whatever and thank you so much filmora for sponsoring this video you can try filmora 10 for free with the first link down in the description and this was pixie i'm out